Hello and welcome. I'm Elaine Didier, Director of the Gerald Ford Presidential Library and Museum, located in Ann Arbor and Grand Rapids, Michigan. My colleagues and I are pleased to introduce you to our new virtual museum series. The Library and Museum are proud to be one of the Presidential Libraries within the National Archives and Records Administration. We are honored to be stewards of the many congressional, presidential, and personal papers and artifacts of both President Ford, Mrs. Ford, and many members of the Ford administration. Thanks to the support of the National Archives and the Ford Presidential Foundation, we are able to bring our collections to life for you. Please take your time and enjoy your virtual tour experience at the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Former President Gerald Ford passed away on December 26, 2006, at 93 years of age. It had been long, consequential years. His brief time in the White House had seen him restore trust between the American people and their government. There was a service held in California at St. Margaret's Episcopal Church. Then the casket was flown to the nation's capital, where he lay in state in the rotunda. And over that holiday period, thousands of people filed past to pay their final respects to the 38th president. Following a service at the National Cathedral, his casket was flown home to Grand Rapids, where he lay in repose at the museum, and thousands more filed past to pay their final respects. A service was held at Grace Episcopal Church in Grand Rapids, and then the casket was taken to his final resting place. This gallery overlooks the tomb site, where people can see where he now rests. Mrs. Ford would outlive her husband by five years, but she too would pass away when she attained the age of 93. She was remembered by eulogists as a consequential first lady, someone who had spoken for the underprivileged, for women, to someone who left a mark as a person who faced her difficulties and used those to teach others. She too had a service at St. Margaret's Church in Palm Desert, California, and then her casket was flown here to Grand Rapids, where she lay in repose at the museum. A service at Grace Episcopal followed, and then she was laid to rest beside her husband on his birthday, July 14, 2011. Again, I'm Elaine Didier, Director of the Gerald Ford Presidential Library and Museum. I hope you've enjoyed your virtual experience today and will continue to explore the many virtual and in-person experiences we offer at both the library and the museum. Our exhibits and programming are made possible through the support of the National Archives and Records Administration and the generous contributions of donors to the Gerald Ford Presidential Foundation. If you enjoyed your tour today, please consider joining the Foundation's Friends of Ford, which supports many of our activities. Now, we invite you to continue your virtual experience on our website, fordlibrarymuseum.gov. That's all one word, fordlibrarymuseum.gov, and explore more than 600,000 pages of documents and photos from our archival collections, images of museum artifacts, as well as video recordings of numerous outstanding speakers we have hosted at both the library and museum. Thank you for spending your time with us today, and we look forward to seeing you in person very soon.